For VWay users, Forest Pack 4.3 introduces a brand new area boundary checking mode that makes creating clean edges around large scatters as simple as the click of a button. In a previous tips and tricks tutorial, we demonstrated how to use Forest Pack's fall off controls to create clean edges on lawns by placing small patches of grass around the perimeter while large patches fill in the majority of the area. With the release of Forest Pack 4.3 and when using V-Ray, this procedure is no longer necessary. To illustrate how this works, we'll create the lawn and a gravel path for a simple scene. In this example, there's a large area of grass that needs to be covered, but with a crisp border where it meets the stones that outline the path. The path itself contains a challenging crisscrossed stone pattern that creates small well-defined panels of gravel that converge on a much larger area surrounding the sculpture. So let's fill these areas using the free presets that ship with Forest Pack Pro. Create a new Forest Pack object and click on the surface named Grass Surface to define the scatter area. Click on Library from the Geometry Rollout and select the Cut Grass Filled to Large preset. This preset uses only large patches of grass and is optimised to cover big areas. The lawn is well covered and with minimal instances, but around the perimeter the large patches of grass overlap the edge and intersect with the stones. From Forest Pack 4.3 and on, we can use three different modes to determine if an object falls outside the scatter area and is removed. The first of these, Point Mode, uses the item's pivot point to check if outside the scatter area. If it is, the entire item is removed and you may get overlaps. In Size Mode, the item's width and collision radius is used to check if it's outside the scatter area. If it is, the entire item is removed and you won't get overlaps, but the boundary can be uneven if the item size is too large. And finally, Edge Mode uses the lowest Z vertex of each of the item's individual elements to check if they are outside the scatter area. If this is the case, only the individual element is removed, creating a clean edge. Because the geometry itself is not sliced, the result is much more natural. So we'll use Edge Mode. Please note that in this video, the ability to preview edge trimming in the viewports has been enabled. To improve performance, clipping normally only occurs at render time. So to ensure there are no gaps using this mode, it's necessary to ensure that the items extend slightly beyond the edge around the entire perimeter. The preset settings look pretty good, but to be sure, decrease the distribution map density value to 3065 centimeters. We can now follow the same procedure to add the gravel. Create a new forest pack object by clicking the surface named Gravel Path Surface. Click on Library from the Geometry Rollout and select the Oyster Gravel Large preset. Go to the Areas Rollout and change the Boundary Checking Mode from Point to Edge. And now we'll remove the gravel from the crisscrossing stone pattern. For this purpose, there is a spline in the scene that we can use as an exclude area. Open the Areas Rollout, click to add a spline area and then pick the spline named Stone Diag Pattern Spline and set the mode to exclude. And finally, to get into those difficult corners, decrease the distribution map density to 1250 centimeters. That's it, here's the final render. We hope that you find Forest Pack's new boundary checking mode will make creating clean edges simpler and faster than ever. Please stay tuned for future training, or for more information about many aspects of Forest Pack's features, please see our reference section, or visit the tutorials page for more tips and tricks videos and in-depth tutorials.